Hello friends, this is Bharat, call sign is Victor Uniform 2 November Fox dot Kilo. So uh, we are making the second video for this uh, first unit of the ASOC examinations, the radio theory and uh, practices uh, part of the paper. Uh, this uh, In this video we will be covering the energy and power concepts of uh, electricity and uh, magnetism unit. Uh, I am not going exactly in sequence uh, of the topics described in the unit as per the ASOC syllabus. Uh, for the syllabus, uh, I'll put the link below in case if you want to follow up with the syllabus, uh, you can please uh, look at the link. Uh, in this uh, unit, we are going to describe some of the basic concepts of uh, terminology of uh, the electrical, of the electronics uh, quantities. Uh, and um, I'm trying to give uh, an explanation with, uh, along with an analogy. And uh, I hope this analogy will help you uh, remember the conce uh, concepts better. So we'll start off with the first concept and the concept is that of work. So work or energy, uh, both of them are almost the same. Uh, energy is uh, something which is consumed uh, to uh, do some work. So whatever energy you put on to doing something uh, reflects itself as work or the work uh, once done uh, can actually be me measured in terms of energy as the amount of energy which was put to do the work. So there is a one very important law uh, in nature and that is uh, energy law of conservation of energy which basically means that energy can neither be created uh, nor destroyed. It can only be converted from one form of energy to another. So there is something that we actually see in everyday life. Uh, for example, the solar energy is being converted into almost all forms of energy which is available in our uh, earth here. And there is again, uh, the solar energy is again made up of the nuclear energy like the fusion of hydrogen uh, and other uh, molecules, uh, other atoms over there. So uh, if you see the energy is never really created and we don't know the source of the origin of the energy. But we know that energy always gets converted from one form to another. So in this analogy, I have uh, shown you a mountain on the right hand side and assume that this is an ideal world where there is no uh, friction. And uh, you are supposed to move a ball, uh, a boulder uh, from the base of the hill to the top of the hill. So this means you are going to do some amount of a work to move this boulder from the bottom to the top. So that's what uh, work is. But once you do that work, all that work gets stored as an energy when the boulder is at the top of the hill. So the moment you push the ball back from the top of the hill, it's going to give out all its energy and which can be utilized. So that's why energy and work are almost synonymous. Uh, energy uh, is uh, generally represented with the letter W uh, or with respect to the work, it's generally represented with the letter W. Uh, the unit is Joule and uh, it can also be measured in calories. So you might have seen that in food packets, the energy is generally measured in calories. So Joule and calories are the units and uh, it's uh, represented by a, a capital J or uh, CAL for calories. One thing to notice is whenever the unit is written as its full uh, length of the word, for example, Joule, uh, then we always use a small letter J instead of the capital letter J because often the name of the units are derived from the name of the people who are associated with that particular uh, quantity. So uh, Joule with a capital J uh, is the name of the person Joule, whereas the Joule with a small j uh, is the unit. So whenever you write units, please uh, remember to write it as small letters. So that's what work is. Now let's see what, what power is. So power is the second uh, unit. So uh, in this picture, I have shown uh, two human beings, both of them trying to lift the boulder. Now the amount of work which is required to take the boulder from the base to the top of the hill is almost is the same in the ideal world when there is no friction. So irrespective of whether the lean guy or the uh, strong guy takes it, it's almost the same, it's the same amount of energy. Now the question is uh, why do we call the uh, stronger guy more powerful? And the reason is he can do the same amount of work much faster. So uh, that's what is power. So ra the rate of doing work is called power and uh, it's represented by the letter P and the unit is Watt and uh, the unit representation is uh, capital W and when you say that you have done one Watt of uh, when the power of a particular 
uh, item or a person uh, I mean the rate at which a per person is working is one watt uh, it means uh, he is doing one joule of work in one second so that brings us to the next uh, thing which is the potential difference now this potential difference uh, is there only in uh, electronics or in electrical uh, world it's not there in the practical world uh, but still just for the sake of analogy I'll continue with the same analogy so assume this uh, look at this hill again if the hill had no friction and you had to roll this ball from the position 0 and move it up to 1 or move uh, the ball from 1 to 2 the amount of energy required is same because um, because uh, the energy is only dictated by how high the ball is to be risen and not by how long it has to be taken as we are not considering friction so in that case the potential difference or the difference uh, the amount of energy that you put to take this ball from the position 0 to 1 or the amount of energy that you put to take this ball from 1 to 2 is same so that's what a potential difference is uh, so potential difference is defined as the amount of work done per unit charge when we are talking about uh, electronics or the electrical world so uh, assume that this boulder is no more a boulder but a charge and uh, you are putting some amount of energy in onto it to move that charge from position 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 so what you'll find is the amount of work that amount of work that you have to put to move from 0 to 1 is the same as the amount of work that you put to move the object from 1 to 2 so the potential difference between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2 is same but you, uh, the thing that you notice is the distance between 0 and 1 is much larger or, and the distance between 1 and 2 is much shorter and uh, this is uh, a concept of resistance so uh, the you have to overcome more resistance to move from 1 and 2 and that's the reason that even in the short span of distance you have to put a, lot, a large amount of work to uh, move the charge from 1 to 2 whereas from 0 to 1 you are able to move a much larger range because there is lesser resistance and uh, you still put um, uh, the same amount of uh, work so uh, coming to the representation uh, it is represented by the letter E or V and uh, its unit is volt and unit's representation is the capital letter V so 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per second that is uh, you say that there is a potential difference between two points to be 1 volt when you require 1 joule of energy to be put to move the uh, to move 1 coulomb of charge from one point to the next point so now let's discuss about current current is uh, when when there is a flow of charges and the rate of flow of charge is measured as current uh, so consider the same example again so if you happen to drop the boulder from the location 2 and uh, the boulder from location 1 which do you think is going to move faster so obviously the boulder which is uh, dropping from a much higher location is going to roll much faster so the same analogy applies here so when there is a much larger potential difference uh, the there happens to be more flow of uh, charge and uh, that's what is uh, then you have more current and between lesser potential differences you have lesser current if the resistance remains the same that is so uh, the representation for current is generally with a capital letter I and its unit is amperes and uh, uh, it is written as uh, capital A and 1 ampere is the amount of current uh, which happens when 1 coulomb of charge flows at a rate of uh, 1 coulomb of charge flows within 1 second so uh, that's 1 ampere of current so finally let's come to some uh, very important relationships and uh, these are often asked in very simple numericals in the ASOC examination and uh, the first relationship is between uh, the power voltage and current and it's given as P equals to V into I so let's see how it works out so we know power is the amount of work done per second voltage is the amount of work done per coulomb of charge whereas current is the amount of charge that moves in one second so if you see uh, power equals to work into uh, sorry equals to voltage into current can actually mean uh, work per second equals to the amount of work to put uh, put to move a one coulomb of charge into uh, the uh, into one coulomb of charge moving in one second of time 
So basically the coulombs cut off and it becomes work in two seconds. So there's just a way to remember in case we forget everything else. So you know the power equals to V into I. And there is another very important definition that is uh, work is the power into time. So we know uh, power is the amount of work done per unit uh, time. So when you multiply that particular commodity with time, you get work. So uh, that explains all our uh, basic uh, units of uh, units which will be used very often in electronics. So uh, please remember power, voltage, current and work done. And we have already discussed what charge is and the unit of charge is coulomb. Thank you.